How you doing guys? Hope you guys are having a great day today. This is Joey bringing you up the next video. I apologize for releasing the video a couple days later than expected, uh, but came up with some issues in the car, which I will get to at the very end of the video. But anyway, here's the video. Hey guys, Joey here bringing you another video today. So what we're gonna be doing is changing up the mufflers on the 2008 Mustang GT. A little bit of a change from what we had said the last video, but stick around, I'll explain why. located in Plainsfield, New Jersey. So basically today we decided to change up the stock like mufflers to the GT500 KR or also known as the FR500 S muffler. So the difference is, is the stock mufflers have a very big chamber so it allows for uh, less sound. So it mutes a lot more, but with the KRs or the 500 S, it's gonna be a bit of awakening for this. So. Basically, what we're doing is is until we go the free flow exhaust and until we uh, really open up the car with a bigger blower, we're just going to change up the muffler right now. We're still on a stock mid pipe that GT500s come with, and we're going to just go with it for right now. Once we get the free flow exhaust on the mid pipe with no cats, we're going to definitely see a big rise in power. That's just for start, but then also um, the bigger blower that we're planning on doing. So right now we're in the process of changing the muffler and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're done with the muffler swap. I'm gonna show you some pictures of what it looks like at least. And here we go. So now that we got it on, it's going to be a different type of sound. We're going to play the clip for you that I'm going to record and with my GoPro, and then we'll be right back.
thanks for watching up until this point, guys. Really appreciate the views. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos or clips of exhaust like this on the car. So on the day that I recorded these videos originally, on my way home, I had an issue. Turns out it was the fuel pump. Luckily, I have a couple of parts of this nature to relieve that. So when the car gets all done, we'll get back to recording the car and getting the videos made for you. So I'd like to lastly give a huge shout out to my buddy, Next Level Auto. In case you guys are interested in any sort of work that he may be able to do for you, I'm gonna tag him to the end of this video. But anyways, have a great one guys and stay safe.